managed to win both Rapid and Blitz? Uh, here we can see that uh, players started the clock and made the first moves. Uh, on the first board we have e4, c5 and a3. A3, right. That's, that's uh, yeah, uh, a change of attitude for, it. well, it's a peculiar line, I have to say. So, sacrificing a pawn that early in the game. Uh, Inner Kiev seems to be ready for this scenario. He plays pretty fast. So, what do we have here? It, it's like knight a3, uh, playing very fast. That's... Well, not not the most usual line, I have to say, but yes. I think I think if Black does that, and well, actually after second move a3, the move which was played in our game, I think g6 is the recommended move for Black, because if Black does all that, I think White is kind of happy, he gets what he wants, he sacrifices He gets these two uh, files, a, b files, and also very yeah. stable center. And, well... The leading development is also one very important thing because, yeah, at the moment it looks like black is even better developed, but white will win some tempi for sure. Yeah, because of this queen on d5 queen is on d5, never yeah. good in the center. Some knight b5 moves are possible, yeah, threatening knights is up. Bishop f5 played by Inar Kiev. Uh, well, knight d5 is a possibility to threaten. The four on c7. He can also start developing, you know, just like knight f3, and he will win those tempi bishop later c4. on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Knight f3 Castle. to start with, then bishop c4 with a tempi. Knight b5. Well, knight uh, b5. He simply wants to fork on c7. Yeah, well, that's and an like attempt. Like, is forced to, to play rook c8. Yeah, but this is an attempt to kind of win immediately by Magnus Castle, right? Knight b5, but he needs a real follow up to this one. Which I'm not sure he okay, has. Okay, now this a pawn on a seven is uh, poison, probably because rook can come back on. Ah, you mean if if the knight yeah. takes on a seven, rook a eight, knight can come back to b five as well. But yeah, it, it, it's a tricky, a tricky situation. I, I don't think his plan is to take the pawn. Honestly. Yes. I don't think his plan is to take the pawn. Some bishop e three maybe. Or, uh, maybe or some check to... first from e4 and then the same scenario. Ah, you mean, you mean for black? For yeah. black, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, Magnus has started to think that early in the game. Yeah, once again, I have to say this. It's really, really tough for the players. It will be tough for the players, especially in the first rounds, to readjust from yeah, you know playing the yesterday. rapid from yesterday. And especially when they get to play on increment, because the increment is no longer 10 seconds, but only 2. And this time control is really tricky. Uh, 2 seconds, it's, you have increment, but still it's really not big time. Yeah, well, it's... it's uh, yeah, I mean, on one hand, you cannot really lose on time if you have, like, simple winning positions. Uh, you, you should be able to mate with an extra rook, you know, so that's... Oh, well, it took it. Actually it. Takes. it took it. It actually takes. Now we'll see. I mean, rook a8, at least white hand, I know, yeah, knight b5, I, I guess that's the that's the whole point. Rook uh, a8, knight b5. comes back to b5, if queen e4 check, bishop e3, and the rook is protected. I think All that's right. the point Magnus Castle tries to make. Well, what I'm worried about a bit more, if black simply takes on a7, rook a7 and then starts to develop, because in this case, black actually will be better developed. It's like knight takes a7, he'll take with the rook, and then some knight f6, or e6 to start with. Uh, uh, the, obvious the, reply is, yeah, the obvious reply is the top seed Magnus Carson, but you have the current, well, Blitz champion Karyakin in mm -hmm. the field, you have Maxim Pochiela Graf, who is known to be terribly strong in Blitz, and the shorter the time control is, the better Maxim Pochiela Graf chances to... Uh, well, on board two we have Levon Aronian, who mm -hmm. won a very strong event in St. Louis, I think, in Blitz with all those guys playing. Yeah. Uh, Karyakin is uh, number three by rating. Yeah, so by Karyakin rating three, and Vashe follows Vashia Dingle four, Ren, Ivanchuk. Dingle Ren, and Ivanchuk is very high. Yes. That's interesting. I've announced that Artemiev is very high on the list. Well, not number two, but number eight. Number Artemiev eight. Artemiev is on number eight. In yeah. top ten. Okay, we've missed a few big. moves. And look, in Artemiev is down to 18 seconds only. So an exchange on E7 happened. Then in Artemiev has played E5. E5, yes. Opening the center. Magnus went with knight F3. Exchange on D4. And now bishop D7. Prophylactical move against bishop B5 check. Mm -hmm. So White's problem is... It's very hard to develop this bishop yeah, from F1 exactly. and castle yeah, exactly. because the bishop from G2 F1 pawn is hanging. It's not that easy to develop. I mean, he might even want bishop E2 still. 
-hmm. Bishop e2 was the point that if queen takes on g2, it's bishop f3. Ah, uh, knight b5. Knight goes on b5. So now another second, knight goes. It's a second knight on yes. b5 in this game. Queen exchange. Queen exchanged, and we get some end game. Now this bishop press on g2, but... Okay, bishop d3 is the good move, I guess. Bishop, uh, C5, bishop very C5 attacking the rook on a7. Now it's the moment you want to give a check, right? Mm -hmm. And see where the king is going. After knight e7. Now rook is hanging, rook has. Rook is still here. Oh no, bishop a3, brilliant move. Wow. Bishop a3, rook d8, uh, brilliant move, but white is still not very. Knight on d4 is a very nice square for knight. He's comfortable now, yeah. King c2, but so is in Archive's position, I would say. Mm -hmm. So is Narkiv's position, I would say. Oh, well, rook a7. So now if the pawn on g2 is hanging, uh, if, if the pawn yeah, is taken... Yeah, f3 probably. Probably f3, right. Rook e8. Also rook g1 decision. was a possible... Rook e8, practical decision. The Black position. is already down, the, uh, down yeah. to 6 seconds. It's a very short time. Uh, the position is roughly equal, but now, yeah, the time is the mm -hmm. major factor. Rook to b8. Yeah, and, and, and in blitz, you know, you don't want to take on c6. You prefer knights over bishops, that's I'm sure. No, he takes, because there was a blunder now on king c6. Oh, there is bishop b5 bishop check. B5. King b6. <laughs> it's not that tricky. Rook takes b7 is a possibility. But white wins the... Yeah, rook yes. takes b7. White wins a, a pawn like this. It's an illegal move, knight a3. It's an illegal oh, move. That's incredible. I mean, what has it's happened? What it's has happened? A Carlson loss in this case. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's really, double I mean, illegal. Inarkiv, move. Inarkiv played an illegal move. Carlson Inarkiv. should stop the clock. If he plays another move, that means it's illegal. Really? Yeah, he lost. He lost. Really? Yes. So Inarkiv won the game like yes. this, you mean? Yes, I think. That's I think. that's incredible. Oh my God. That's really incredible. Yes. I mean, that says you make an illegal move and you win. You make an it's illegal move. It's double illegal move. move. Uh. As I know, I'm That's not sure in this something, case. You know, something with rules of chess. I'm sorry for that, <laughs> but, but really this...